Hello, my friends. Today, I will recap the movie Dirty Sexy Saint, which is a combination of thriller and romance genres. The film opens with Samantha, a fashionable young woman, descending to her upscale apartment where she overhears her father Conrad discussing business matters with his friend Harrison. Conrad suggests that Harrison should marry Samantha in order to become the manager of his company. However, Samantha intervenes and expresses her disapproval, stating that she does not love Harrison. Despite her objections, Conrad brushes off her concerns and informs her that he has already begun arrangements for her wedding. Angry and frustrated, Samantha declares that she will leave the house and never return. Her mother tries to reason with her, but Samantha is resolute in her decision. Samantha gets into her car and drives away from the affluent neighborhoods of New York until she reaches Manhattan. There, she leaves her phone in the car to avoid being tracked by her father and takes a cab to a bar. At the bar, Clay, one of the waiters, notices Samantha sitting alone, drinking heavily and appearing upset. He asks Tara, a waitress, about Samantha's situation and decides to take responsibility for her safety as the bar manager. When Clay approaches Samantha, he appears to argue with her over the payment of the entrance fee. Samantha is unable to pay with her credit card since her father has frozen her bank account. Clay offers to help her get home safely by checking her ID or asking for her address, but Samantha becomes hysterical at the thought of returning home. She begs Clay not to take her back and suddenly realizes that she has no money, phone, or address. Overwhelmed, Samantha falls into Clay's arms and he reluctantly agrees to take her home with him. Samantha arrives at Clay's place, highly intoxicated and unable to stand up. Clay helps her inside, but Samantha tries to kiss him in her drunken state. Clay kindly refuses and helps her get settled in. Samantha mentions that she needs a shower, but when she attempts to undress in front of Clay, he feels embarrassed and offers to help her instead. He assists her with her shower and helps her dry off, all the while respecting her privacy and not taking advantage of her vulnerable state. Later that night, Samantha wakes up momentarily and thanks Clay for his kindness. The next morning, Samantha is filled with regret and shame for her behavior. She finds her underwear and a spare toothbrush in the bathroom, courtesy of Clay. Clay offers her breakfast and introduces himself as the owner of the bar where she had come the previous night. Samantha apologizes for her actions, but Clay is more interested in why she had run away from home. Samantha confides in Clay about her situation with her father and Harrison and expresses her desire to avoid being forced into an arranged marriage. Clay asks her about her future plans, and Samantha asks if she can stay in her apartment for a while and work at the bar to earn money. Clay agrees to help her and tries to clean the kitchen. While he's doing so, Samantha approaches him still naked and tells him that she intends to pay for her accommodation and food by working at the bar. Clay realizes Samantha's sincerity, and they share a kiss. Later, Samantha goes shopping with a girl named Catherine to buy appropriate clothing for her job at the bar. Samantha feels embarrassed about her status and how she suddenly entered Clay's life, but Catherine reassures her that Clay is always willing to help people. She also mentions that she works with Messina, Clay's brother, designing tattoos, and that there is another brother named Levi. Samantha is intrigued and wants to learn more about Clay's family. That night at the bar, Tara is unhappy with Samantha's presence and wonders why Clay allowed her to stay with him. She warns Clay about Samantha, but he brushes it off. Clay watches Samantha work and becomes jealous when she approaches a guy at the bar. Catherine comes to the bar to support Samantha and assures Clay that she is a nice girl. Meanwhile, another waitress complains about Messina's behavior towards one of the girls, and Catherine seems to be attracted to him. At the end of her shift, Samantha calculates her earnings and offers to pay back Clay for her accommodation and food. Clay admires Samantha's determination and intelligence in dealing with the changes in her life. Samantha reveals that she graduated from the Faculty of Science and wanted to attend law school, but her father discouraged her from pursuing a career because he believed that his wealth would provide for her needs. She regrets not standing up for herself and pursuing her dreams. Overall, Samantha is slowly adjusting to her new life and finds solace in her job at the bar where she has made new friends and possibly even romantic interests. Samantha opens up to Clay about her passion for cooking and how her father never took her seriously when she enrolled in cooking school. Clay encourages her to pursue her dreams and reminds her that she won't achieve anything without trying. 
He shares his own story of inheriting the bar and how he learned everything he knew from Jerry, who treated him like a son. Samantha begins to form good relationships with Messina and Catherine at the bar, but Clay becomes jealous when he sees her getting close to Messina. Levi, Clay's brother and a police officer, also comes to the bar and suggests that Clay should get closer to Samantha. This causes Clay to become angry as he struggles with confidence in relationships due to their parents' failed marriage. Catherine surprises Samantha with a gift from Clay, a full set of kitchen utensils so she can start baking again. Samantha bakes Clay's favorite cakes, and they share a romantic moment together. As time goes on, it becomes clear that they have fallen in love with each other. Overall, Samantha is slowly finding her place in the world and pursuing her passions, while Clay continues to support her and help her grow. Their relationship is not without its challenges, but they both seem willing to work through them and build a future together. Samantha has worked hard to earn enough money to pay off all her debts to Clay and is now independent financially and morally. She surprises him with a new cake, but also tells him that she wants to pursue her dream of becoming a baker and apply for a job at a French bakery. Clay is upset by this decision, although he knew it was coming. He leaves the conversation abruptly, leaving Samantha confused. As Clay leaves the bar, a man named White enters with a knife and threatens him. Samantha calls Catherine, Messina, and Levi for help. White demands money from Clay and threatens to kidnap Samantha if he doesn't comply. Clay feels he must keep Samantha safe and agrees to pay White back, but Levi suggests informing the police. Later that night, Samantha finds marks on Clay's back and asks about them. He reveals his past. He and his brothers were raised by their mother who could not take care of them properly. Their mother died in prison, and White became their legal guardian. One day, Clay tried to kill White with a knife, but ultimately failed and was left with scars on his back. After this incident, Clay met Jerry, who offered him a job and helped take care of his brothers. Clay realizes that Samantha is the most precious thing in his life and decides to open up to her about his past. They spend a romantic night together, but it is clear that their relationship will face challenges in the future. Overall, Samantha is making progress towards her goals, and Clay is beginning to confront his troubled past. However, with White still a threat, their future remains uncertain. Samantha is moved by Clay's story and decides to assist him. Later, without any further explanation, Samantha packs her things and informs Clay that she is going to meet his father. This sudden departure leaves Clay in shock. Meanwhile, at the bar, Levi advises Clay to pretend to acquire money to deceive White. Suddenly, Harrison, who had previously discussed marrying Samantha with her father, arrives at the bar holding an envelope filled with cash. Clay recognizes Harrison due to Samantha's prior mention of him. Harrison shocks Clay by stating that Samantha agreed to marry him as per her father's instructions in exchange for Clay receiving the money to eliminate White. It becomes apparent that this was the reason Samantha left abruptly. Eventually, it is revealed that Samantha's father knew where she was all along, but did not interfere in her life to help Clay gain his freedom. Harrison confesses to Clay that he does not love Samantha and has no intention of marrying her. He knew that Samantha loved Clay and that her father wanted to test Clay to ensure that he was confident and capable of protecting his daughter. The police arrest White, and Clay decides to go to Samantha's house with the money. When he arrives, he finds Samantha's father waiting for him. Conrad reveals that all these events were a ploy to force Samantha to return home. He admires Clay for overcoming his tough childhood and creating a successful business. Conrad also acknowledges that his daughter does not like Harrison and gives her the freedom to choose. In the end, Clay promises Samantha's father that he will always cherish and make her happy. Samantha hears Clay's heartfelt words and embraces him deeply. She confesses her love for him, and they share a passionate kiss. Unknown to Clay, Samantha is the wealthiest woman in the land. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.